Hello, welcome to AutoBug YouTube channel. Myself is Rafa Nikshan. So today we are going to learn how you can initiate a headless execution in UiPath. Okay, so we are going to cover both the classic as well as the modern designer, and we are going to see the modern activities and how you can initiate this headless execution in both the classic as well as in the modern activity. So before going to that, let us understand what is this headless browser execution. So this headless browser execution usually we will be using for the browsers. Okay, so whatever the application that we are going to automate using browsers, we can do that in a headless mode. Okay, so headless mode is nothing but it use it is, it will use a uh, protocol which is built on uh, web drivers. Okay, so web driver is a protocol used to automate the browsers. Okay, automate browsers where REST API calls. Okay, so it it will be API method which will call the APIs. To uh, find out the elements, elements that we have already provided, and it will do the actions. Okay, without a GUI, it will do in the backend, and it will provide us the output. Okay, so it will be uh, using the API calls in a separate executable uh, than the browser itself. Okay, so uh, so uh, that's about this uh, headless uh, browser, and uh, the one important thing that we need to uh, keep in mind is like. Uh, whenever if you are initiating a native execution, we will be able to see uh, the browser get opened and what are the navigation that we have, we have provided. We will be able to see all those things, right? Suppose if we have provided a click activity, we will be able to see the cursor is moving and it is clicking on that button. Or if we are uh, given a, a type activity, we will be able to see the automation is typing the uh, data. But if you're going for a headless execution, all these things will be happening in the backend, and we won't able to see an open browser. Okay, so that is a pretty peculiarity of a headless automation. So if you're doing automation, maybe there can be requirements from different clients, like they don't want to open the application and they need to uh, execute it in a headless mode, right? So at that time, we can use this approach. So let's start. So uh, currently, we are in a modern designer, and I will show you how. Uh, we can do a headless automation in a modern design using the modern activities. Okay, so we are going to use uh, this RPA challenge uh, um, uh, uh, URL for doing this automation. So what we are going to do is we will navigate to this uh, particular URL and we will extract all this data and we will generate it as an output table. Okay, so that's the work that we are going to do. So for that, what I am going to do is I am going to use use application bot browser activity let me indicate a screen okay so it has automatically fetched the url okay then what we need to do we need to extract the table right so that i am going to use table extraction click on add data just inspect on this okay uh, it will ask you like would you like to extract all the points from the table yes then what is next step? We need to provide the next button. Click on next step. Then indicate on the next button. Okay, so that's it. And click on save. Okay, so here you can see first it is opening the browser, then it is extracting all the uh, data table, and we will get all the data in the extract data table variable. Now what we need to do? We need to write this to a uh, output file. Right. So let me use use Excel file activity. Then let me name it like a final output dot xlss file. Okay. Then I need to use a right range active. A right range active. Okay. So in sheet one, what is the data table? Extractor data table. Okay. So this is the normal uh, automation that uh, we will be doing, right? If you, if you are using this uh, use application bar browser uh, uh, activity, we will be doing that, right? So let me execute this, and we can see how it is going to work. So we can see the automation started. 
Okay, now it is clicking on the next button and it is extracting the data and it will output to a uh, uh, Excel file. Okay, but we are able to see what all things are happening in the application, right? So this is a native automation. This is not a headless execution. Okay. So after this execution, I will show you how what are the changes that you need to do on this activity to make a headless execution. Okay. So it is taking some time for consolidating all this extracted uh, table and to write to the Excel file. Okay, so this is our project folder, and here we can see it has generated a file output.xl file. Okay, so the execution is completed. Okay, let me open this file. We can see all the uh, uh, details has been extracted from the RP challenge of uh, URL and it is copied to this final output dot file right but in this automation execution we are able to see all the navigation that we have provided as part of the automation right? so let me do one thing let me delete both these files okay let me go back and let me click on this use application by browser activity and here the scroll to the bottom and at the bottom we will be able to find web driver mode okay so in the web driver mode just click on this drop down and we will be able to find which gui or headless execution okay so i told you like uh, for this headless execution it will be using the protocol web driver for uh, capturing all the navigation right so this web driver can be used for headless as well as for the gui based automation okay so if you uh, enable this with the gui means uh, we will be able to find all the navigation that is happening in the browser but if you choose this headless, then after that, if you try to execute, you won't be able to see what are the action that, that is happening in the browser. Okay, everything will be happening in the background. So let me close this. Okay, I close the browser now. Now we can run file. Okay, now it will open the browser in the backend, it will uh, scrap all the data then we will be getting the output file over here ok so it has started the execution so in the backend it will do all this process ok via the web driver if we call Uh, actually, I already did a video uh, on this Selenium automation for the headless execution uh, in our channel. So, those who want to see that can uh, go to our Selenium playlist and watch that video. So, there I uh, clearly mentioned like how we can initiate a driver and how we can set the capability to open the browser in a headless mode. Okay, but that is with the Selenium. Okay, here we did the same using UEFA. Okay, so here you can see uh, it has automatically generated final output plus file. So let the execution complete. Then I will open you this file and I will show you how uh, our automation script has captured all the data from the web page. So it is completed. So let me open up the file. Okay, so these are the data that uh, our bot has captured in the headless mode. Okay, so let me close this. 
So let me delete this file. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I will show you the same thing in uh, a classic uh, design. Okay, so let me disable this. So this is a modern designer, right? So if I want to switch to classic design, what I can do? Let me disable this modern design. Reload. Then it will reload the UEFA Studio in a classic design. And uh, here uh, one more thing is like so just consider you want to uh, execute this in some virtual machine okay or in some remote machine where the robot is installed okay so in that condition what you need to do is you need to download the web driver properly and you need to configure that in the environment variable okay so I will tell you how to do that so uh, to get the proper web driver what you need to do is just go to uh, your Chrome browser or whatever the uh, browser that you are going to use then go to about google chrome okay so here you will be able to find the version right so this is the version of uh, google chrome and what you need to do is just search with this particular version okay version chrome driver download just click on the first url Okay, and here you will be able to find the different versions of Chrome Driver. And my Chrome version is uh, 105.0. Point something. So I need to download this particular Chrome Driver. Okay, so if there is an update happened in your uh, Chrome uh, browser, then what you need to do is you need to uh, download the latest one and you need to update the particular path in the environment variable. Okay, so just consider if I have downloaded uh, this Chrome. Chrome driver okay it will get download to my Chrome uh, my download folder then what I need to do is just search with environment in the start okay click on that go to environment variables okay and scroll to path variable just open this okay and then click on new <coughs> okay click on new and provide the path of the web driver okay so that's it then click on OK and click on OK. That's what you need to do. And then if you try to execute, what will happen is uh, you will be able to find uh, this particular variable in the system and uh, the automation script or the board will automatically identify this is a uh, web driver location and it will automatically initiate the execution in adjustment. Okay. So uh, if you need to run it in a remote machine or in VM, what you need to do is you need to do this setting. You need to download the Chrome driver and you need to do that uh, configuration and environment variable. Then you need to restart the robot agent. Okay. You need to restart the robot agent. Then if you execute this in, uh, uh, assistant, it will start the execution. Okay. So that's it. Let me go to RTXL. Here we need to use open browser. Voice extraction. Let me copy this URL and uh, paste it over here. Okay, then what we need to do? We need to extract. Uh, this particular table right so for that i'm going to use data scrapping click on next indicate one cell okay then it will identify the table and it will ask to extract the entire table click on yes click on finish okay then it will ask for the next navigation button inspect on that button okay so that's it i'm going to cut up and paste it inside the open browser Okay, then we need to add uh, append the data to Excel, right? So I'm going to copy this same thing, copy and paste it over here, and uh, I'm going to add some delay also. Let it be some five second. Zero zero six zero zero five.
okay then let me go to project folder download the final output.xls file we execute this okay so what I browser open browser this should be native okay so let me execute so now we are not executing it in a headless mode okay we are using the class activities and i'm going to show you how you can create this expression script and once the GUI execution was completed i will show you how you can convert that to headless mode execution okay it's opening up the browser here you can see the ui uh, GUI is opening and it is extracting all the table and it will write that to a uh, excel uh, file Okay, so let me open this file. Okay, I can see all the data got captured in the file output.xl file. So let me do one thing. Let me delete this file. Let me go back to open browser. And in order to uh, uh, change that to headless mode, what we need? We need to download the Chrome driver and we need to create the environment variable. So I already show you how you can do that. So just consider if you don't want to do all these steps, uh, your path can directly do that for you. For that, what you need to do is you need to change this particular parameter to true. Okay. So here if you hover, it will show automatically download the required web driver version executable and save it in this UI path bar, uh, in the UI path folder. Okay. In the uh, UI path web driver exe folder, it will download the uh, respective web driver version for you. Okay, so I'm going to change that to true. Okay, and then communication method I'm going to change it to web driver. Okay, then hidden I'm going to mark as true. Okay, then let me repeat it again. In case if you want or uh, uh, not the UI path to download the counter, you can download it. And as I mentioned earlier, you can go to uh, environment variable and you can set the uh, driver path okay so the execution has uh, started it is running in the backend and now we can uh, extract all the tables and we generate the final output.xl okay so we can see final output.xl file dot created with all the data in it okay so this is how you can use the modern as well as class activity to uh, run it in a headless mode. Okay. So I have clearly explained like what are the methods that you can adopt here, like how to set this web driver manually as well as how uh, how we can tell UI part to download the web driver manually, sorry, uh, with uh, auto automatically, as well as how you can use the modern as well as class activity to run your automation script in a headless mode. Okay. So if you're clear about this concept. Uh, and if you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And please provide your valuable comments to uh, this video. Okay. And if you find this video useful, please uh, share with your friends as well. Okay. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.